Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge wanted kid idiot Dave Coco from CocoHama.com. K-O-C-O-H-A-M-A.com. It is a new blog that we talk, cover in Japanese and English about sports and entertainment around the Yokohama and Japan area. And I usually cover Japanese professional wrestling and sports, but I figured I'd give this movie a shot because that is kind of in my wheelhouse. Um, just for uh, clarity, honesty, I know a couple of the people that worked on this show. So I am very proud of them. So when I review it, please put that in somewhere in the back of your head. Like, hey, this tubby bastard knows some of the people that worked on this show. This ain't a fair review. And I think that's the only honest way to go about it. With that said, um, I am pretty harsh, probably harsh to my friends too. And I try to keep it honest, 100% feedback, genuine feedback. That's what I try to focus on. And with that said, the Queen of Villains... We always rate we rate uh, wrestling shows on win, loss, or tie. I guess we'll keep that going for movie reviews. I don't know if I've ever done a movie review. I probably have in the past. I've been doing this a long time. But uh, I give this a huge win uh, on many different levels. I found it to be insanely entertaining. I found it to be fun to live in a time that so many of my Japanese friends talk about. You know, they talk about the crush girls battling each other. They talk about the slap heard around the world. They talk about Dump and all the great things that she did and changed pro wrestling. And it was great to re-see, you know, relive all that and also get to see some of the popularity. And overall, the writing I thought was great. I thought... I thought the writing was great. I thought the time period was great. Like, I go to a lot of Japanese pro wrestling events. I go to a lot of picnics and a lot of talks and a lot of clubs and all that. And the Crush Gals, Dump, and the All Japan uh, Women's League is talked about so, so much. So, in Japan, this is very famous. I know the people that worked on it w took a lot of pride in it and wanted it to be very very good and i think they hit a home run on it um i enjoyed it tremendously my missus doesn't exactly like the same type of movies or pro wrestling as much as i do and even she enjoyed it and a big thing going on now in hollywood and a big thing going on right now in movies is that they don't know how to write women they want women they don't know how to write women and I just wanted to yell at Marvel and Star Wars and just be like, that's it. That, that, that's how you write the women. And you know, it, it's just crazy. Cause like every scene, the actress made you care every part of the story that made you care, the directing, the writing. I just thought it was all around good. I was really proud of it. And like I said, I, I did not work on it. So I want to make that clear, but I, I enjoyed it. And it was one of those things where it wasn't cringy. It wasn't eye rolling. It was like you had, like she didn't just magically appear and be the greatest superhero Jedi ninja master ever. Like, no, you, you felt the journey. You, you felt her become dump. You felt her heartbreak. You felt like it, it was just fantastic. And it makes me, as a Marvel fan, as a guy that walked away from Star Wars, it makes me shake my fist. Because anytime, uh, no matter where you live, a white guy with a beard goes, I didn't like that movie. They're like, you're a sexism. You're what's wrong with the world. And you're like, no, just just learn story structure. Learn character development. <laughs> learn. Like, I'm better than you at everything. Yeah, that, that 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 that's great for the Olympics, but even the Olympics tell a story how you got there. It's like <laughs> I, I I am I let's just see, let's just pick a random character so I'm not picking on someone who can be a random character. Alright. No, I can't use Spider-Man. Pretty much everyone's been abused by this system. All right, yeah, I'm just looking around my comic books and collections. All 
All right, sure. I'll be Ultraman. Ultraman. All right, here we go. I'm going to be Ultraman. Like, you're not just going to fucking be like, all right, here is a woman and she's the best Ultraman ever. That's the end of the story. Why don't you pay us billions of dollars, you toxic bastards? <laughs> it's like, no. Tell a fucking story. Get your own fucking IP and respect the IP. And they they do this. They do this. And I just enjoyed it. It, it I sometimes, you know, I, I I'm a writer. I don't know how good of a writer I am, but I am a writer. Uh, I've worked in anime, manga, and tel television. I, I've, I've tried my attempt at being a novelist. I'm still working on it. Um, so I, <laughs> I, I am a writer, but sometimes you see good, something so good. And you're like, Ooh, I don't know if I could ever be that good. And then sometimes you see something as, like, Oh my God, that's fucking horrendous. But with this show, it was so fucking good. That, like, it made me mad at the other IPs. It made me mad at, like, the others. Like, I just want to fucking get Kevin Froggy, Froggy, whatever the fuck his name is, and be like, dude, this, 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 this. And it's just, it was fun. Um, it was a great time. People talk about it all the time in Japan, and it's a big part of sports history, not just professional wrestling, not just women. And of course, um, I, I don't want to give a tons of spoilers away besides that it's fantastic, but there is the slap heard around the world. If you don't know what that slap is, it's just, well, that's not really a spoiler that much, but it, it was just like, my, my Japanese friends that I go to these events with talk about that all the time. So it was great to see it play out in the ring. They tried to make it as somewhat as realistic as possible. They did have liberties for entertainment. They did have liberties to protect the business. So it's not 100% a documentary, but it's just a fun ride. It's a fun ride with a female main lead. Most, most of the characters are female, and it just doesn't fucking suck. <laughs> and you know what? It fucking is a shock. And, and another thing that drives me crazy, you see something this fucking great. And I, it's a, it's a long, I think five, six, seven episodes. It's wild. I think the last episode's 90 minutes, but it doesn't even feel that way because uh, you care about the character so much. You, It's just, it's well written. It's well directed. It's enjoyable. Uh, they didn't disrespect the IP. And uh, even though it's based on a real story, but you know. They, they'll still screw it up. They'll still screw it up. Um, but it was really, really well. And sometimes when you see something so good, it makes you mad about your own writing, but it also makes you mad about other entertainment. And we already talked about how it makes me mad about Marvel and DC. Not DC, I apologize. I don't watch DC that often. Uh, but it Marvel, Star Wars, it makes me angry because it's like, dude, you can do it. Everything you want is right there. Just, just do it. So, it, also on the wrestling side, it made me angry. And, and I know it sounds weird because I'm not a big fan of House of Torture. It's a New Japan group. That's basically just copying dumb gimmick. I mean, Ghetto hasn't had an original idea. And has he had an original idea? Um, it just made me sad because. What she was doing was so groundbreaking. And let me see. When am I going to New Japan next? Uh, where the hell did my schedule go? I don't know. I'm probably going to be going. Oh, here it is. I'm probably going on the 14th. It's 2024. This was made in the, this movie was made in the 80s. They're going to do the same dumb shit. So why dump... And all these people are groundbreaking. You are recycling their hard work. You know, stand-up comedians hate it when they get stolen. Um, writers hate when worthless, talented, talentless people IP jack. When an IP jack is, I have an idea. It's not good enough. So put my idea with Batman, Ultraman, Spider-Man. You know, it's like, hey, I have an idea, but it's not good enough to stand on its own. So let's put in an IP and... Yeah, it just 
is a great time for Japanese sports. It's a great woman's story. And it just made me sad for all the wrong reasons. But it was so good. It was emotional. It was good. But Ghetto, Foggy, Star Wars, who is it? I can't think of her name. Uh, Cartman with a wig. I can't think of the Star Wars lady's name. This right here. Like, you know, everyone's like, oh, people are so toxic. You're not toxic if the story's good. You're not toxic if the acting is good. If you're not toxic if you respect the IP in the story. It's like, what the fuck? Like, it just drives me nuts that we we live in a time where we can make as much creative stuff as we want. And we're not taking those chances, those liberties... So it is a huge success for Netflix. I know it's number one in Netflix Japan. I was told it was number one around the world. I'm not sure if that is true, but it is. If you if you are looking for a good wrestling documentary, and granted, I do take some liberties, it's good. If you're looking for a coming-of-age story, it's good. If you're looking for a sportswoman story, it's good. If you're looking for a story where the woman isn't a perfect little saint and she has a character art. <laughs> I don't know. This is why I'm not in movie reviews. Because, like, it blows my mind that the things that we critique are, like, just common sense shit. It's like building a house and be like, do you guys got doors? No, nah, we just forgot the doors. Cool, cool, cool. How much does the house cost? $1 billion. So $1 billion, no doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't worry, there's no windows either. Of course not, of course not. Why would Why would we know? So overall, I would suggest that you watch it. It's great. Uh, bit, bit, yeah, I give it... Oops, sorry, I'm beating up. <laughs> beating up my microphone. I give it two thumbs up, a win. Bear Friend gives it two paws up. Uh, overall... Highly suggested. With that said, I do know people that worked on it, so you know I, I don't I don't want to be phony baloney. Don't want to be fucking phony baloney. But I am happy, and I hope more people check it out. Uh, if you saw it, what did you think? Win, loss, or tie? And do you think wrestlers should be more like dump and more like I don't know, like original and coming up with their own things i just feel like in japan i don't know how it is in america i don't watch american wrestling as much as i used to i just feel like oh all right you're trying to be them you're trying to be them all right it just feels like everyone is playing a part that's already been played and maybe the same thing in hollywood with reboots you're now spider-man now you're spider-man now you're spider-man so i don't know it, it's Sometimes it's great to see a great show, but it also makes you sad that there isn't more great shows. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but hopefully it's a huge success and hopefully uh, we'll make, not just me, but in human beings in general, will make great content. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. We can do this. We're naturally, human beings are natural storytellers. <laughs> just... Tell good stories. <laughs> anyway, uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you check it out. Tell me what you thought about it. When loss or tie, what did you think about it? And with that, I uh, oh check out Kokohama.com. K-O-C-O-H-A-M-A.com. Japanese English sports entertainment. Yokohama, Japan. Check it out. Alright. Love you dudes. And with that, I am over. But a no 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 no. Hey, but a boom boom boom. Woohoo!